guys, so today I'm going to be doing my March bullet journal video and I got a ton of requests for this. Yeah, it seems like you guys really like these videos, so if you do, definitely give it a thumbs up so I know and leave comments below. I also did make an Instagram for my bullet journal, so it's just at AF um, Journaling. I'll have it linked right here. And follow that so you can see like my weekly spreads and stuff. I'm going to be posting on that very soon. Also, follow my regular Instagram if you want. Subscribe, all that stuff. Let's just get right into the video. To start off my March plan with me, I'm just adding a mini calendar to my title page and I often do this. I just like the way that it looks and it gives me kind of like an overview of the month. For this month's title, I decided to do something a little bit different. So I just took one of my brush pens and kind of wrote out the month in a brush um, script font. And then I added kind of a more like messy border um, just to kind of go with the vibe that I was going for. I did clean it up a little bit with a smaller marker and then I added this kind of drop shadow with just one of my thin, this is like a sharpie pen. I will have my materials linked in the description and this is my finished cover page. It's not my favorite but it's something different so yeah. Moving on to my monthly calendar layout, I have been really liking doing this. I did it in my previous month as well, but I have my visual calendar on the left hand side of the page going vertically and I like this because I don't have to flip my notebook at all and I just found that I didn't really need more space than this. I just like putting kind of like the main events, um, big things that are going on so I can see the month at a glance and then I'm just adding a drop shadow to that to add some more detail and kind of fit the theme of this month and then I'm writing the days of the week down the left hand side of the calendar and then I went ahead and added the dates of the month vertically and for the boxes that were not being occupied by numbers I went in with a diagonal line and then here I'm just using a white gel pen to fix any of the smearing that happened I should have um, flipped my notebook and done it the other way but it ended up working out on the right hand side of the page I uh, made these boxes and I had all of my um, headers kind of prearranged in my head of what I wanted them for. So I'm basically just use this page to keep track of my YouTube growth, my Instagram growth. Here I'm making just little habit trackers for my exercise for running and yoga. Um, and then just to match, I added a drop shadow just to add a little bit more detail. But I've definitely simplified this page from my previous spreads. I think I want to add a little bit more next month, but I just found myself not using everything as much and I wanted to keep it simpler. Um, so here I'm just writing out the things that I want to keep track of. And I'm just adding my March title in kind of like an italicized bold font. And then obviously I did another drop shadow because apparently that was like the thing this month. Um, so I also wanted to include kind of what um, my February spread looks like right now so you can kind of get a, an idea of what I'm going for this is the March one obviously it's not filled in um, but then moving on to my weekly spread I was inspired by something that I saw on either Pinterest or Instagram I will definitely credit it in the description if you're interested but I thought it was really like modern minimalist and cool so just keeping it super simple, I have um, three, four, March is the third month, obviously. And then I just, for each day of the week, I have um, boxes, which I'll be writing my to-do list in. And at the top, I actually filled it in black, which I've never done in my bullet journal. And then on the right-hand side, I just made a tasks list, kind of like a weekly to-do of things that I need to get accomplished. And then for the dates and the days of the week, I went in with a white gel pen. And I did need to go back with like a black pen um, just to fix it up a little bit because the white gel pen was a little bit thicker than I was expecting. But that is my finished March plan with me. It's extremely simple, but I really like the way that it turned out and hopefully you guys did too. Definitely tag me if you recreate it. Okay, so that was my finished bullet journal video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.